Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Craig. It's Monday morning, and we're talking HR 38. We're talking National Concealed Carry Reciprocity and Fixed NICs. Now, a lot of folks uh, had a chance to watch our live feed uh, last week as this bill uh, passed off the floor of the House. Uh, but I know that there were a lot of questions. A lot of folks had some concerns, and some folks were, were, quite frankly, confused. And so we figured we'd provide some answers for you. How do we do that? We did that through the FPC Bill Splainer, where we try to explain the bill to you, or at least kind of let you know what happened, or at least answer some of the, the more frequently asked questions. Uh, you can get to it by going to firearmspolicy.org, clicking on Latest News, and you'll see the Bill Splainer right there. Uh, just to give you a few highlights of what is in the Bill Splainer, uh, one of the things that we do is, once again, let you know exactly what happened. H.R. 38 passed. Now, there were a couple of different motions that took place. Uh, one was actually to just close debate. Uh, the other thing that was important to know was that one of the things that they discussed was merging uh, fixed NICs and national concealed carry reciprocity. Now, whether you agree with them doing that or not, that's in fact what happened. Uh, so they, first they had to approve uh, merging the two, and then they had to finally uh, approve the actual measure to go, uh, to go over to the Senate. Now, there's, uh, there's some confusion as to what exactly the bill does, especially on the left. Uh, one of the things that people asked was, well, will it allow people to get guns who shouldn't have guns? And uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, no more so than the law currently allows. Let's put it that way. Um, uh, you still have to be a person who's able to legally possess and own a firearm uh, in order to be able to in order to be able to conceal carry. It doesn't remove that or doesn't change that at all. Um, one of the other questions was was will it allow uh, will it allow uh, an individual to carry in their state with a non-resident permit? Uh, a very it's a very complicated answer, but uh, according to our experts, the answer is yes, it will. Once again, if you want to get kind of a little bit more detailed information as to why, go to fpc.com. I mean fpc.org forward slash or not forward slash fpc.org. Uh, and then click on latest news and go to the bill splainer. Or you know what? Here's what I'll do. Just look in the link to this video. Look in the description of this video. And there'll be a link to the bill splainer right there. And it'll kind of give you a little bit more information as to exactly uh, what it allows and what it doesn't allow. Uh, there's a lot of questions and a lot of concerns about uh, about fixed NICs. And what is it and what does it actually do? And, and, and uh, I know that there is a lot of misinformation that is out there. Now, there are some folks who just don't want NICs to exist. They, 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 the idea of anything, any sort of background uh, check thing out there existing uh, is a bad idea. Um, and it, once again, not, we're not saying that we disagree with that sentiment, but the fact is NICS exists and while it exists, it needs to be fixed. And what this measure basically does is it, it basically tells them, okay, we know this is already law. You really, really, really need to do it. And here's money to, in order to make sure that you do it and that you guys coordinate. If they're going to have it, the thing has got to work and it's got to work properly. And that's really what it does. Uh, it does not. It does not expand the list of prohibited people. It doesn't create any new categories of people who are prohibited, um, and uh, and it doesn't. It doesn't create any new gun uh, or firearm prohibitions. Uh, I, I've read the bill all the way through, back and forth. Our attorneys have read the bill back and forth, and it. Whatever it is, it's just not there. And the only real reason that I've seen that, that there's there are two reasons why people oppose it. One is because, well, they just don't want NICs to exist at all. And, you know, that's 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 not a that's not a, a, a bad position to have, I'll, you know, in general say, but it's not but the fact is is that it does exist. And while it exists, it needs to be fixed. And the other is, well, because Democrats support it. Uh I don't know what to tell you. You know, a, a clock is wrong. It, like a broken clock is is right twice a day, and maybe just on this one, maybe they just happen to be right on this one along with Republicans. I mean, other than that, I just don't understand. And, and maybe, if folks, if you're out there and you see some stuff that is in that is in uh, the Fix Nicks bill, that is uh, that 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 is stuff that we should be con you believe we should be concerned about. Hey, feel free to include it in the comments of this video. But quite frankly. Uh, we really believe that uh, it is a, a minor issue relating in, in, in concern to the actual ability to be able uh, to conceal carry. 
uh, in, in other states. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's Coffee with Craig. We thank you guys for tuning in. Please take a moment to share this video as well as go to the Bill Splainer and, sh and share the Bill Splainer with other folks because uh, obviously I know you're not the only ones who have questions. Anyway, folks, you take care. Uh, enjoy. Have a fun, safe day. If you like our videos, follow, subscribe, like, and share.